Hey there, my friends. How's everybody doing out there today? I thought I would do another one of my weekend talks, and um, we're just going to get right to it. Today I'm talking about the heart of mindfulness. I had a quote of the book that I'm reading. Um, I mentioned it in a few videos recently, Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth. And I got to a place that he had a quote that sums up mindfulness almost perfectly, almost perfectly, and getting into the self and like who we really are and what. So I'll read that first and then I've got a reading for you. What a liberation to realize that the voice in my head is not who I am. Who am I then? The one who sees that. Now, I want to read that one more time. What a liberation to realize that the voice in my head is not who I am. That inner dialogue that we tend to always have going that I, you know, uh, for years, most of my life, I assume that that's myself, that's who I am. But that, that's just a voice that's always running. That's just random unconscious thoughts. So anyhow, that's from the, that is from A New Earth. And the reading I've got today for you is called Presence of Heart, Discovering the Practice of Mindfulness. Maybe clear up a few things that people tend to not quite understand about mindfulness, like that it's just like this detachment and like you don't, you know, you're not involved with the world or you're not aware of the problems of the world around. So let's go, go with it. And this is an article written by a man named Adam Moskowitz, and I will put a, put, put a link in the description below. We've all had fleeting moments of being, uninterrupted and unfiltered by the typical wants, interpretations, preferences, and opinions produced by the thinking mind. These rare moments are taste of a particular state of consciousness that is mindfulness. The practice of mindfulness is both meditation and learning to connect to this natural awareness. We might say that to discover mindfulness is to discover what happens when we deliberately take time to detect the nature and texture of the present moment, no matter what it's like, and gradually cultivate an open heart to what we notice and sense. Many people say, I can't meditate because I can't clear my mind. Many people believe that meditation is an exercise of reaching some kind of thoughtless realm that is entirely calm and peaceful. When we meditate, we're not, a, we're not aiming to escape our minds or eliminate thinking. That's one of the biggest things I want. It's not about escaping. It's not about like, you know, hiding your head in the sand with this or eliminate thinking. Mindful medita mindfulness meditation usually happens on a cushion, chair, lying down, standing, or walking. This practice supports us to live with a stable kind of awareness when we're not meditating, when we're doing everything else like taking your practice off the mat. The process of cultivating mindfulness in daily life can take time, kind of like a slow cooker that doesn't seem to be doing much for a while. Regarding emotions and physical states, often mindfulness does not immediately alleviate discomfort. Rather, the practice creates a safe space for layers of discomfort to rise to the surface of our recognition. This can mean an actual intensification of discomfort for a time. So, um, you know, just because you meditate, just like with anything, it's not all your problems are not going to go away and you're still going to have a lot of bad times. And it's not about trying to, it's not even about trying to, you know, convince yourself that things aren't that bad. It's actually not even about of thinking in the terms of good and bad. It's just kind of like there's awareness. That's what it's always about, the awareness of what is and not putting those labels, good, bad, this, that, on them. Mindfulness, there is a kind of peace and clarity that the practice does promise, but these qualities do not emerge by avoiding or escaping difficulty. They are byproducts that appear as a result of our general rec recognition and willingness to connect with um, whatever layers of tension we may carry. And just like I just said, he says, mindfulness is not passive or disconnected from the pains and troubles of the world. It is an engaged practice that empowers us to respond to challenges from a newly discovered well of resource. The practice also offers the priceless gift of learning to sense and acknowledge the beauty that exists in the present moment, even in the most mundane corners of our reality. 
A Chinese translation for mindfulness is presence of heart. At its core, mindfulness is a heart-centered practice. It is a realization of our fundamental wholeness. It is a discovery of our innate care for one another. It is recognition of the truth of our interdependence, how we rely on one another and how the world relies on us. Um, you know, the more I practice my mindfulness, my meditation, um, the more it comes up in everyday life and the more that I'm able to remember that. And that's what happened, um, you know, with early on in, in when I was re-beginning my meditation practice. Like when I'm, when I'm uh, meditating, I'm generally just aware of the breath, aware of the in-breath, aware of the out-breath. And as I've progressed over the course of the past 13 months, I found myself getting more and more of those glimpses. I found myself actually understanding um, that awareness and I understand uh, that who is, who, is aw who is aware of that voice going on in the head. And I've also been able to um, get better and better and stronger and stronger in using these things in situations every single day, whether I'm in traffic, whether I'm in a store, and they just help me to deal with things so much better. And I think they can help a lot of people to deal with things. I, I just, I'm always trying to make sure that people don't get caught up in the word meditation because that just, it, it has connotations for people and it can be very intimidating to certain people. And, you know, if you need to use another word for it or if you need to practice it in a different way than sitting down, do it. But this is, this is really practical stuff that can help your uh, mental health uh, stabilize your mind every day and it can just save you a lot of grief in general. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this reading today and um, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great rest of the weekend and I'll see you next week. Peace.